All I gotta do is put my mind to the God damn! Cancel out my ex, I put a line through that Uh huh All I want my ex is with two lines And this shit is everybody trying to fuck you But I'm fine with that shit I never mind, girl, that's just you I know you work hard for your shit they should call me James, cause I go hard on this bitch. Why yeah. I forget the first lines? <laughs> Maybe I just need you around me. Drink a lot tonight, I know. <laughs> you can ride a car, you can roll. Take you where you wanna go. But first off, I'll start by saying this. Goddamn, goddamn. goddamn. We're gonna stop it right there. Comment but, below. Yeah. Whoever's the first one to comment below. Clutch Squad! Look what song that is. Yeah. It's your boy Dub. It's your boy Trill Bill. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> he just interrupted you or something. Yeah. <laughs> you no, already know who my no, name is. No, I was gonna let him. <laughs> Clutch Squad? I was gonna let him finish. Oh, that was funny though. You already know who I was. Is. I was about to let him finish. I was about to go back to what he was saying. But yeah, it's your boy Ross. <laughs> but yeah, like I said. First person to comment below. What song that is? It's easy. If you don't know this song, you just been living under a rock, fam. So yeah. comment below what song it is, and uh, we'll pin it, fam. And possibly it's follow you on yeah. Instagram if you got one. So yeah. 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 Let me check. Check. Hey. Definitely, man. Gang, 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 gang. But what we about to get into is Niagara Water. Niagara. Ah. Uh, Niagara. Uh, I see what they're doing. I try to keep them on track. I tried to. Not playing, yeah. I'm about, to, <laughs> I'm about to react to the homie, the uh, NFL 2018 Pro, Pro Skills, Skills competition, yep. competition by the boy Chisel Adonis. The Adonis. So yep. uh, make sure you like the video, hit the thumbs up, man, for show, for show, for show. Let and this one can be a free for all. We can, because the other video, we did try not to yeah, laugh. Yeah, let's make a little bit. Yeah, yeah let's. let's Relax. Let it yeah, yeah. relax. I honestly think we should do it again because I think this one's gonna probably be harder. Oh, it, it might. Let's why, why break it? Keep this shit going. I just uh, want to laugh. Nah, no, don't laugh. That's the problem. Damn. You laughing up. Damn. <laughs> and don't laugh in here. I don't laugh around here, cuz. <laughs> well, I guess it's a try not to laugh. So we'll see. <laughs> if y'all can try not to laugh as well, try it, man. It's, yep. it's hella hard, man. All right, so let's do this thing. You feel me? Just follow the boy. Follow us on Instagram. Yeah, check follow our Twitter. Twitter down the south. Yes, sir. Follow our Twitter too. And let's get it cracking. You know what I'm saying? Or as I like to say, let's get it breaking. Let's go. I don't say that at all. Yeah. I have blood a blue. with a blue shirt on. Yeah, I know. Right? That would be fucking. No, that's how you do things. Boy, if you don't get. Boy, if you don't. Boy, I got so many. Okay, nigga, stop Got so many on. ways. Ways to get. I'm sorry. Yeah, ready? Yeah, I'll be sorry. I just want you to Clear, press that clearly, clearly not because you were talking to me. Just press this button. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2018 drone drone. Don't laugh. Also known as male puberty because balls will be dropping. Let's get Stop. right into it. Up first, representing the AFC is Jarvis Landry of the Miami Dolphins as he's trying to catch a ball dropping 120 feet out of the air. The ball wow. is dropping faster than an elderly man's sperm count. Wow. He has the ball with your shoulder, dummy. This is not the Brasses Network, but he's able to find the ball with his hands. As you can see, he went to Vermilion City, activated the item finder, finds the ball in midair, <laughs> They're using a drone. Wow. Years and he doesn't even attempt to catch it. Just like the Arizona Cardinals attempting to catch a Super Bowl trophy. As the NFC will take the L, Jarvis Landry wins it for the AFC. Patrick Peterson, you're a seven time pro bowler. You didn't even try to catch the ball. Keep your motherfucking head down. Up next, we have the quarterback precision <clears throat> passing competition. Representing the NFC and the Los Angeles Rams, we have Jared Goff. Damn. We haven't seen a Rams quarterback in the Pro Bowl since Mark Bolger. Legend has it the ladies love that last name. Here we have Jared Goff going for four mm. points. That's the same number of quarters the Rams spent in the postseason as he continues to miss the marker. After connecting on the four points, he's going for the two points. The number of seasons that he played in the NFL, he connects. But the trap card negate attack was activated on the right side as he misses oh. that one right there. He's going for the three point on the left side. Yeah, that's the grip this side. He missed, but he hits the three points on the right side. He's an in full. He may be wearing blue, but he's not gripped. He is a blood. Less than 10 seconds left to go. Jared Goff is going for it all. He connects on the five points. The same number of Rams losses in the postseason this side of the millennium. And his time 
time is up, he's collected 20 points. Up next, representing the AFC and the Oakland Raiders is Derek Vehicle. And we're all asking the same question, how the hell is this man in the Pro Bowl? As he's trying to connect on the four Damn. points, he's very disappointing to see, much like the Raiders season this year. After several attempts, he Boy, finally connects, oh. he's going to the other side and he's over and under throwing the ball. He's missing more than a one-hit KO move in Pokemon, but he finally connects on the third throw. He's feeling confident, he immediately Ooh. goes for the five points and he's got it, the same number of Super Bowls that the Raiders have played in. Less than 30 mm -hmm. seconds remaining, Derek Vehicle is failing to connect on that three-point marker over there. I guess you can rename that three-point marker Jack Del Rio. As a new three-point marker comes out on the right side and the left side, I guess that must be named John Gruden, and he's connecting on the mm. three points. Is this the Oakland Raiders quarterback, or is it a Golden State Warriors guard? Because all he's hitting is threes. And with four seconds remaining, the vehicle of Derek connects on two points the to set a new record from isn't passing with 21 points. Up next, representing the NFC and the Russell Seattle Seahawks, Wilson. we have Russell Wilson, who's making his fifth Pro Bowl appearance. As he's going okay. deep and he connects on a four-point marker, he's going to the right side to connect on four points, but evidently the color red is throwing him off as he is a crip at heart playing for the Seahawks and also playing for the NFC. But he's luckily able to connect on the okay. four this points here, and it's all heart. downhill from there. It seems his arm has turned into a Christmas ornament because it's just for decoration. I have seen a man with arthritis walk into a gun range and hit more targets than Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson should be counting his lucky stars that this is not a precision passing competition to keep his wife Seattle faithful. Because given his performance, I can guarantee you she would have already started sucking another man's cock during the competition. Stop it's inappropriate it. and auspicious that Russell Wilson does not have the nuclear codes to launch a nuclear attack on North Korea because I'm not just sure on HIV positive he would be hitting Finland. What? Oh my god, not Finland! Bro, did you hear what this man oh, said? I don't know, I don't know. Hey guys, Finland's dead! Stupid. Oh no! No! No, that's a Finland! Oh, the Finland gone! Yeah, somebody better break the news to Norway, they were really close. Wilson concludes with eight points. Up next, representing the AFC and the Kansas City Chiefs, we have Adam hmm. Smith. Smith starts off pretty hard, yeah. hitting his first two targets, and it seems he's got himself a lead, you would say. From this point moving forward, it seems it's time to blow it. His accuracy is non-existent. In fact, it's the resemblance of Stevie Wonder taking on Helen Keller in a pinata hitting competition. Oh Smith is now targeting the three-point marker. In fact, three is the number of playoff wins that he's yet to achieve in his 12-year oh career. One has also got to wonder why Alex Smith is only targeting the red targets while he plays for Kansas City that wears red and also the AFC that's also wearing red. Is Alex Smith a color? Is he suffering from colorism? Regardless of what he is, none of this will stop him from being kicked out of Kansas City as he loses his job to Patrick Mahomes. Smith has accumulated enough points to win it for the AFC, but one has got to wonder if this was a battle of checkdowns, would he have come in first place? Nonetheless, the AFC reigns supreme, but Derek Vehicle is the supreme winner of the precision passing competition. Up next, we have the Gridiron Gauntlet competition. Up first, we have the AFC, where Jalen Ramsey of the Jacksonville Jaguars will be running a 40 yard dash connected to a parachute. He takes out very well, like the Jacksonville Jaguars in the AFC Championship, but it doesn't finish as well. Much like his team. Next, we have C.J. Mosley of the Baltimore Ravens having some trouble picking up balls. He should have contacted a Kardashian. They would have helped him out with his technique. Oh. He was finally able to get his hands on all of the balls. He tags his fellow AFC North rival, Geno Atkins, and he's pushing through those heavy bags the same way the Bengals have pushed through the playoffs over the last 28 years. Oh, wait. As he tags Super Bowl 50 MVP, Vaughn Miller, who's going ridiculously slow for some reason. One has got to wonder why Vaughn Miller is moving slower than a pack of old ladies driving on the highway shortly after leaving bingo night. Maybe it's because he doesn't have any insurance. If only his old teammate Peyton Manning was in attendance, he'd make sure that Vaughn Miller knew that Nate is on your side. Miller scales the final wall and goes underneath the final obstacle, and the AFC opens their Bibles to Heronicles 2 verses 16. The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Hair follicles can be considered the energy source. As they trust in the power of dreadlocks to finish the course. And the AFC completes the course with the time of one minute. The NFC looks to respond as they send out Ryan Kerrigan of the Washington Native Americans? Indians? Redskins? Who knows? As he's taken off for the 40-yard dash, tags his teammate Patrick Peterson, who must have spent some time at the Kardashian household. Wow. Because he spends little Damn. time oh, in the of the Green Bay Packers for the heavy bag push. Hey, he he murdered that, yeah. For strength, and he's pushing all those bags like he just left the grocery store. He goes around the obstacle and tags his team.
teammate Quan Alexander on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Man, they going. He's scaling the wall faster than Mario jumping over a pipe. Somebody call President Trump and let him know that an army of Quan Alexanders mm -hmm. will jump over any wall that he builds. Kerrigan, Peterson, Daniels, and Alexander sure do have a whole lot of energy. That's because none of their teams went to the playoffs. But I'll tell you a man who did go to the playoffs. As the NFC opens their Bibles to Revelation Dreadlock 17 versus 22. If you mess with the police, they'll spray you with mace. Trusting the power of Dreadlocks to win you the race. As Alvin Sheets getting out the ball burst through the shield to win for the NFC with the time of 50 seconds. Up next, we have the best hands competition. Ooh. We'll speak of included. You heard that, Jerry Rice? As we have the NFC being represented by Jared Goff and Devontae Adams. As they have Dreadlocks on their side, they're already at an advantage. One has got to wonder if Devontae Adams is suffering from the Jordy Nelson syndrome, where you struggle catching the ball from anybody who's not named Aaron Rodgers. But it seems to be working in his favor here in the Pro Bowl. Rumor around the league is Jared Goff has spent some time with Devontae Adams in science class because they have chemistry. And through the power of dreadlocks, Jared Goff and Devontae Adams are able to set a decent time at 1 minute and 16 seconds. Up next, representing the AFC and the AFC West, we have Alan Smith of the Kansas City Chiefs and Keenan Allen representing the Los Angeles Chargers. Keenan Allen is building a relationship with the floor and he's taking more balls to the face than an employee at Naughty America. Allen oh. is struggling to complete the catch just like the Chargers are struggling to get into the postseason. Oh, he's almost got it. Nope, just out of his reach like the Chargers season. At this point in the competition, Keenan Allen's hands have turned into ornaments because they're just for decoration. In fact, it looks as if he's participating in a firing squad and he happens to be the target because he can't catch a single ball. Here we go with the diving attempt and he dropped it. He's going to try once more and he can't connect. Get the hell off the field, you bum. Up next, representing the NFC, we have Russell Wilson of the Seattle Seahawks and Michael Thomas representing the New Orleans Saints. Much like premature ejaculation, Thomas is off to a very fast start, or should I say finish. Nonetheless, he's catching everything that Russell Wilson is throwing yeah, his way. It seems them. they yeah. might have went to Staples prior to doing this competition because that was easy. Coming down the stretch, they complete every single pass that set. Wow. Oh, one minute, two seconds. But here comes the AF and Derek Vehicle with Jarvis Landry defending mm -hmm. his best hands crown from the year prior. And he's catching every ball like a person with a wow. weak immune system catches every single disease. Less than 30 seconds remaining in Jarvis Landry's quest to defend his crown as the best hands at the Pro Bowl. It's coming down to the wire. He makes two catches for the diving catch. Wow. And oh, he dropped it. Oh. Get up, dummy. You can still win. No. It seems the NFC will be winning this competition. Up next, we have the kick tap toe competition between Greg Gano of the Carolina Panthers and Chris Boswell of the Pittsburgh Steelers. First up, we have the Chris Boswell, he's Dang. five yards, and much like the Pittsburgh Man. Steelers' hopes of going to the Super Bowl, he doesn't make it. Up next, Graham Gano is kicking from the same distance of 45 yards. It's through the uprights of the top right, and it's going to be good for the NFC. However, much to his chagrin, much like another kicker who played in Florida, he's going to be missing it to the left. The Wizard of Oz looking to respond. He kicks the ball from 35 yards through the right upright in the middle, and it's good. Back comes Graham That's Gano. That's crazy. That's dope. The bottom left to take residency of that square. But Boswell's toe is efficient as he kicks it through the middle square to make this a competition. Cano sends out Snorlax, use block, and he kicks it through the middle left square. Evidently, Chris Boswell has stopped driving manual cars because he left them in 2017 because he's not clutch no more. As Graham Gano kicked it through the top left to win the kick tap toe competition. Boswell! What the hell? Put your motherfucking head down. Hey, Boswell, where'd you get that red shirt? Some guy in Florida who was wearing a red jersey. Oh, said man. Red shirts actually give kickers power. No, don't tell me it was. Nick Folk, you goddamn bum. I have a better chance growing ovaries than seeing you make a kick. Put your motherfucking oh, head down. Oh, my God, bro. You That's so loud. After jumping on the zero lead, the NFC have oh. won the last three competitions. Just come down to dodgeball. As the NFC so have like, the one block, will they blow it to the Atlanta Falcons that plays with the NFC? Find out on the next episode of Dragon Ball Z, or you can find out right now because we're jumping right into the highlights. Immediately, Alex Smith is eliminated. Fitting, he does play for the Kansas City Chiefs. After one minute of throwing a variety of balls, it seems eight other individuals have been eliminated. The NFC remains with six and the AFC with five. Another 90 seconds has elapsed as both the NFC and AFC graduated from Kevin Space University, as six individuals have been eliminated by involuntarily touching balls. With 30 seconds remaining, it's come down to three on two with Grand Gano, Patrick Peterson, and Ryan Kerrigan for the NFC, Jarvis Landry, and Kareem Hunt for the AFC. The AFC would like to lead a comeback, but both Jarvis Landry and Kareem Hunt graduated from Ryan Leaf University because they can't hit any targets. As Kareem Hunt looks to activate his dreadlock powers, he stepped over the line and disqualified himself. It seems there will be no dreadlock powers activated. Jarvis Landry throws the ball at Ryan Kerrigan, but it's going to be caught for a victory for the the NFC, they win the competition six to one. But wait a minute, it was all against you, 
to. Let's look at the instant replay. As Jarvis Landry throws the ball to Ryan Kerrigan, he catches it, but drops his other ball. That means he is eliminated. Yeah, oh yeah. In the final round of the competition is Jarvis Landry representing the AFC, taking on Graham Gano and correction, not Patrick Peterson. Mike Daniels of the Green Bay Packers, but who cares about him? Because he's eliminated. Get off the field, fat boy. Now it's mono <laughs> Oh, God damn it. He shows the world white man Ooh, can't man. and kickers are athletic. We are people too. As he's throwing the ball at Jarvis Landry, Jarvis dodges. He throws the ball back at Graham Gano, he misses. As they both have a stalemate stare off right here. It's all come down to this Graham Gano looking for the two piece <laughs> extra crispy combo. Oh, you as he's yeah, no. <laughs> he rolls one to try to distract Landry, throws the second, but it's oh. gonna be caught by the wide receiver, and the sweet. AFC's come back from behind, and they win the complete skill competition. Four to three. The NFC blows a three to one lead. He got scared. And he the did. NFC <laughs> supreme. You to the them. only reason why you won is because we didn't have that point. <laughs> if we had that, if we had that, we would have been throwing up the X. But it don't matter because we still the NFC. We go with the Pro Bowl tomorrow. But all this is the NFC versus the Nickelodeon Network because they are victorious. Oh, oh my God, God bro! You said we're gonna win the Pro Bowl tomorrow. <laughs> oh bro. my God, bro! Who that was hard? Snorlax, uh, you was black. <laughs> the hard would get from there every time. I wish I could have laughed, bro. <laughs> oh, oh man. man, I thought I was gonna make it. Cause we them boys, we them boys, we them boys. Hey man. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, if y'all like that video. Ends. Make sure, make sure, make sure you hit the thumbs up video. Ooh, clutch tripping. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. Oh. Thumbs up video. Support. Thumbs up button mm -hmm. down below. Uh, supporting the fam. You feel mm -hmm. me? Follow us on Instagram. Follow the boy Ross because he be jigging and, and all that. And uh, make sure you hit us up on Twitter. Keep hitting me and Brandon up. I can't yep. you know, respond every time. Uh, nor can we react to every video. We're gonna try to get to them as much as possible, as soon as possible. You feel yes. me? But um, yeah. Nothing Patience. else to say. If y'all know nothing else, just know this. Keep checking for the boys. Get in the clutch. Baby, ready.